Growing succulents is such an amazing hobby. And obviously, a lot of people nowadays are addicted to growing them. It is because of their positive effect on one's mental and emotional well-being. Creating arrangements using these plants has become my therapy. I always enjoy repurposing items as planters and create compact arrangements like these. But growing succulents is not always easy. It also involves dealing with pests such as mealybugs and spider mites too. Hello everyone, my name is Teresa of Chapsic and Succulents and in today's video, I'm going to show you why you need to pay attention to your succulents. Because they might look okay, but you just don't know, there are already some bugs present that can multiply anytime. In this video, I'm going to show you why you need to check your succulents for the presence of pests, what signs you need to look for, and what to do when you find them. I already showed you this arrangement four weeks ago. Although they all look healthy and happy, there's something I noticed that made me suspect something is going on. Ants. I saw a few ants coming from this arrangement. So it prompted me to investigate further. In my experience, Crassula capitella camphire often gets infested with mealybugs. Maybe it's because of their leaves and stems that are softer compared to others or the way their leaves are arranged. This one looks okay at a quick glance. But when I look closer, there it is. Mealybugs on its early stage of invasion. You'll know they are mealybugs because of the white cotton-like spots. You see, mealybugs are soft-bodied insects and the white cottony cover is their protection. You won't see much damage initially, but when they multiply, you'll soon notice some obvious changes in the plant, like abnormal new growths, multiple white cottony spots, as well as sooty molds. Do you know why I suspect the presence of mealybugs when I saw ants? Because as these mealybugs feast on the sap of the plants, they produce honeydew that ants feast on. In return, ants protect these bugs from predators and sometimes carry them from one plant to the other where they can find a suitable location and multiply. Another place mealybugs love to stay is in the flowers. So let's take a closer look at this one. This is a very small flower, but if you look closer, there they are too. With the flowers, I would cut them off and spray the affected area with 70% isopropyl alcohol. In mild cases, you can also use dishwashing liquid without bleach mixed in water. A teaspoon of detergent soap in a quart of water and spraying it directly on the affected area can also do the job. You might need to repeat the treatment after three days and a few more to completely eradicate them. As I look closely on this arrangement, there's something else I found. These are different however. They look like dust on top of the leaves and with the presence of webs. Looks like these are spider mites. They also feast on the plants and can also damage them by puncturing their leaves and feed on their sap. The same mixture of household detergent soap and water can solve this problem. Always check your plants three days after treatment and repeat the process until they are completely gone. There you go guys, that's our special tip for today. And don't let all these minor problems stop you from growing these healthy and beautiful succulents. 
the benefits of growing them are way more than the struggle we occasionally face. And guys, if you learned something new from this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you are new to succulents and you're interested to read my book, below this video is the Teespring store where I have the downloadable PDF copy of this book on sale. Take care everyone. Bye.